Hello, DF team. Do you think Microsoft is working on DirectX 13? We're coming up on the <laughs> nine year anniversary of DirectX 12, so I can't help but feel it's long overdue. Are there any big features you'd like to see rolled into a DirectX 13 spec? Uh, interesting question, right, Alex, because DX 12 has basically been uh, uh, enhanced, embellished, had a lot of extra features added. They still keep on coming. Um, right. So is there actually any need for a DirectX 13? Do we need to reset the paradigm? I'd say yes. Um, okay. Uh, I would say DirectX... So there's no real successor to DirectX 11. DX 12 is an entirely different paradigm. Like, the driver did all these things for you in DX 11. And, you know, you didn't have explicit memory management. Uh, but you got, like, cheaper draw calls and stuff like that. But it's all your responsibility now. And, uh, you know, like placing barriers and all these things that dev devs can do really badly. Um, <laughs> you know, like, it's just like there's, they give you the, the, there was like the training wheels, three wheeled bike, you know, like, like where it was so safe and steady with the X11. And then all of a sudden they're like, you're riding a unicycle now. And you have to put it together yourself. And I do like this glass half empty because you know a lot of developers actually wanted those features. It was it was a big deal. Like at that time, it was like there was so much as a result of Mantle. Like I think yeah. that huge AMD Mantle push really brought things over the edge, and that was codified as the X12. And I think that API, there's a lot of pushback against it. Like not every game that has ambitions to you know have like larger complex worlds also wants to take on the responsibility of the things the driver does and the, the amount of control over the gpu that offers not everyone wants that so it would be great to have some of the things that dx11 did for the driver you know like the driver was responsible for that but in an an API that had more modern features in it. And I think that's what, if there was a DX13, I think that would be an interesting direction to go with it, where there would be two uh, APIs that a developer could choose from. I want a project that's really bespoke and I'm taking control of everything, or I want to take advantage of features still, but uh, potentially have less performance, uh, like, uh, I don't know, performance control at that point, control over performance. And I think that's something a DX13 could have. Uh, but regardless of that, there are some features I do want to see added to DX12 or whatever DX13 could be. I want to see uh, things that the vendors do right now through their own API extensions just be made normalized. I want to see like NVIDIA's SER, shader execution reordering, being made part of the, the DXR spec, for example, so that you can just get that in a game without having the game to be specifically coded. Uh, you know, that's just, you know, I think there's a lot of that. I also want to see like maybe offline BVH if it's ever possible. Um, yeah, I could probably come up with a whole laundry list of things I would like to see in DXR. Okay. But what is the shift in paradigm that's, that would require it to be a, a new DX? Oh, I think, yeah, it would have to be something different at this point. It would have to be something that's more like DX 11, and that would be it. And I don't know if an, I haven't heard anything from the Microsoft side about anything regarding like this. Do you always yeah. hear this call? Like we want something simpler, but I don't think there's been much great mm. response from Microsoft. Okay. Yeah. Any thoughts on this one, John? Well, when he mentions DirectX 13, it got me thinking about DirectX numbers in general. <laughs> and it takes me back to DirectX 4. Mm -hmm. The cursed number that never released, as far as I know. <laughs> there was no oh, actual I... public DirectX 4, was there? I don't think so. No. So could 13 be that? Maybe they'll release DirectX 14. <laughs> like Windows do 9? Do you think Microsoft would be holding to super superstition and that it's not I think... the number 13? <laughs> 13 feels like one of those unlucky numbers, so they may not want to do DirectX 13. <laughs> the absurdity. Have you ever walked into a building and been like, what the heck? Where's the 13th yeah. floor? I find that yeah. so stupid. I, like, I just can yeah. barely believe it. My goodness, sorry. Tangent. They built it, but they seal it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just find this whole superstitious angle to uh, apply to DirectX to be uh, largely <laughs> comical. <laughs> we don't know. Like, oh, oh no, we can't call it DX13. <laughs> That's 
why it's taking so long. The, that's why yeah. it's taking so long. Yeah, there's uh, some sort of uh, sort of year long exorcism that needs to take place. Yeah, <laughs> or they just don't know how to advance. They've reached the ceiling in numbers, and they're just that's it. Call what it quits. Do we do? <laughs>